So hey there, my name is Julie. I'm an engineer at Microsoft and this video follows me as I sort of debug a problem that initiated with a conversation with a colleague and about uh, his customer. And uh, it's very confusing uh, in part because this is one of those things where you have to test by hand and because it involves Azure Active Directory as well as um, ARM, so like Azure Portal and Azure DevOps, it's just, yeah, confusing and long to test. And so what I'm gonna do first is actually explain to you the concepts. So this is kind of a mix between an explainer video and a watch me work or watch me be confused video. So the customer scenario in this case was they wanted to remove access uh, for a contractor with one step and by blocking the sign in in Azure Active Directory. Um, this is a common case where you have a contractor, uh, the project is over and you want to remove access and this person has access um, in multiple places. So in this example, Azure DevOps and Azure Resource Manager arm. So you might think if you block sign-in in the Azure Active Directory that it automatically sort of cascades down into Azure DevOps and um, arm and the contractor no longer has access. But actually that's not how it works. So when our contractor is working with Azure DevOps or um, ARM, and let's say in the portal in both cases, um, then actually what they're using is an access token to access those services. So when that contractor logs in to um, Azure Active Directory, they get um, some tokens back, one of which is an access token. And these tokens are valid. Um, you, they're valid for the duration of the lifetime. So even if you revoke access, um, as long as that token is still alive, so to speak, uh, you can use it. So what makes this difficult to test is that lifetime of the access token. Uh, the default is 60 minutes. Um, you can set it to a minimum of 10 minutes. Um, it's not recommended uh, because Teams uses this token as well, so Microsoft Teams, um, and the maximum is one day. So in OAuth, when you log in, you get an access token and a refresh token. And so when your access token is about to expire, your client will go back to Azure Active Directory with the refresh token to get another access token. And so what we're testing here and why we have to wait is that when the client goes back, it's gonna get a no, you're not getting another token um, because when it checks, uh, you've been blocked from signing in. And so now that you understand how this is supposed to work, you can follow along as I try to debug this. Uh, do too many things at once, multitask, have meetings, uh, confuse myself. There's a few errors from Azure in a, in a place or two. Um, and at some point I actually go for a run and come back. Uh, so it's a bit confusing, right? Hopefully you find it interesting and it's actually, I've cut it down to about 10 minutes. Uh, so enjoy. And I looked at this about a little over an hour ago and I'll explain in a second why over an hour ago. So, um, Ah, this message came up, which is good. So one of the things we wanted to rule out was that um, the customer really added the person uh, from the Azure Active Directory. Um, and so we just want to make sure it's actually connected to their tenant. But um, what I wanted to do was uh, ask the question, if I remove a user um, from Azure AD, how long would it take for their permissions to expire so that they can't sort of log into Azure DevOps? And so what we did from the admin was block their sign-in. Um, loading, loading, loading. Oh, well, you can see in here, um, in the uh, Azure portal, that uh, we block Spinach Sam from signing in. And so at about 11.59, in this um, incognito browser, this private browser, I logged in and even though sign-in had been disabled and I even removed Sam from the group. So if I come over here somewhere, groups, I removed them as well from veggies uh, here. So Sam doesn't exist either. Um, and as part of Veggies, Sam would have had access to these projects, Veggies, Shared Collaboration and Supermarket, um, but not what I as an admin see fruits on top of that. And um, yeah, 
the shared services for central IT. So it's now 1310. The one hour access token should have expired. So let's hit a refresh. And I now get a message that says, you are not authorized to view this page. Okay. So that is probably because I removed the access. Sam should also not be able to sign in. So let's try, let me grab the email because I don't remember what it was. Log in with a different account. Yeah, and so my account is locked, so it's definitely locked. Um, so I can't get into Azure DevOps. Um, but that's true. Anton said what we should test is, and I removed Sam from, from the veggies group. So what I should do is rename, re-enable the, the login, put him back in veggies, log in again, um, and then block the sign in and see if when I refresh the browser, I still have access because if I do, even though sign in has been blocked, then that would have been the issue. We would have replicated the issue that the customer had. So we have to wait another hour to try that again. Okay, so uh, I unblocked Sam. And before I check an hour later whether it works, let me just make sure, open private, uh, whoops, that Sam can now log in again. No. Although, now it's, okay. So I still don't have access to Azure DevOps, although back in here, and it's now 1.24 um, PM. Uh, I think it was 1.07 PM when I re-enabled uh, Spinach Sam. And I also put Sam here in back in the AAD group. So refresh. So this is why you should do isolated testing because aside from the fact that I wasn't technically replicating the customer scenario and issue, um, I also confused myself because I was trying to test my use case at the same time. And so let's fast forward me just like clicking around a little bit confused. Permissions, I think that's what I wanted. Um, contributors, members, uh, veggies group, members, Sam is back. So this is the supermarket. So I should have access. Yeah, I guess I have to wait some more time. <laughs> oh, sad. Okay, give up. Okay, let's try this again. Uh, see if I can log in. It is now 3.11 p.m. So this was a private window. Let's close this. Um, admin.microsoft.com. Let's find and make sure Spinach Sam can actually log in before I try opening that. Uh, block a sign in, no. So we should be able to log in. Let me, actually before I try to log in as well, let me make sure that, oh, uh, he's in the veggies group. Uh, members, he's here. So let's try this again. Uh, okay, this is correct. So I have veggies, I've shared collaboration. So it took at least an hour. I don't know, I'm talking now after a, um, a meeting. Um, it definitely did not work uh, about an hour ago before my meetings. So what we're gonna do now before I go for a run, let's go to users, active users. And so we want to uh, reproduce the issue that um, Anton's customer had. 
And so let's go here, spin it Sam. And we're gonna do this, block his sign in. And now my Mac fan is going on. Okay, finally, save changes. Okay, they will automatically be signed out of all Microsoft services within 60 minutes. And apparently that was the complaint of the customer. So it is 3.14 PM now, let's just double check. Um, still logged in and then see you in about uh, an hour. So I, so I just came back from a jog. It's really cold, it's minus five outside. Uh, yeah, did a little bit of stretching, but now it should be, uh, two minutes after, um, I, uh, revoked sort of Sam Spinach's access by blocking in the sign-in. Um, we also before verified that he is in the veggies group. Um, and you can see that as an admin, I can see all the projects here. Um, and before at Sam, I could only see veggies. I could not see fruits. Um, I could not see the shared services from central IT. So anyway, now that we're back here, it's definitely over an hour since I revoked, um, the sign in for Sam. So if I hit refresh drum roll, then I should have no access. Let's hope that happens. Refresh. Yes. I do not have access. Perfect. It works. Now I can go shower and maybe later do a little bit of intro and outro for this so that it makes more sense. And I need to catch my breath still properly. I think it's the crazy cold air that makes like a difference. All right, ciao. So I hope you enjoyed that, watching me suffer as I confusingly try to replicate a customer issue for a colleague or with a colleague rather. Um, and multitasking is not a good idea. Um, it was okay. I mean, I still learned a bit and when I make these videos and I have to explain things, um, it helps me sort of cement, like, what do I actually know? And what am I hundred percent sure of? Um, so I know I skipped a bunch of stuff like regarding OAuth and how that exactly works. Um, if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments below and subscribe. Um, cause I can also make a video about that. I only talked about the access token, the relevant parts um, for this particular customer use case and scenario. Um, and I think you also saw today that real world engineering is sometimes very boring, very confusing, right? Um, but that's how it is when you're working with really complicated um, applications and scenarios because cloud is hard, it is hard. I've um, been doing it for a while and it's, yeah, not easy. So since we managed to replicate Anton's customer's issue on Friday, I tried the next day. Um, my concept of, okay, how long will it take for permissions to be revoked if I remove them from the Azure Active Directory group? Um, that was kind of a fail. There were so many issues and also funky Azure error messages. Um, and I learned a lot about actually recording. Like I need to stop making giant uh, files because I couldn't edit them. So I'm basically gonna throw away about like 30 gigabytes of data. Um, it just takes way too much time. So um, what I think I'm gonna do next is next week I have um, a couple of customer um, sessions where I'm gonna do a CI CD review, kind of like a DevOps review. And um, I'm thinking of recording the contents of that and how I approach it. It's kind of like a due diligence. Have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? Uh, what is your particular use case? And then I'll ask you things like, you know, how are you doing versioning? How are you going to do a rollback? How are you going to promote um, your applications? Um, and it's different if you're using microservices on a monolith, et cetera. How are you going to promote across environments? Um, so I think I'll do that next because it'll be easy to record. I can record in pieces and put it together and uh, get that out for everybody uh, next week. So if there's something you want to see in particular or learn about in particular or watch me suffer doing in particular, um, then let me know in the comments and please subscribe. 
and uh, see you soon next week. <laughs>